Some people have asked, how are esports being used in middle schools and high schools, not just around our country, maybe outside of the country, but specifically here, in Springfield, Missouri? My name is Brett Payne, and I own this place called Contender Esports. We're on the corner of Battlefield and National. I have been working for about two and a half or three years with the Springfield Public School System, the athletic director, which is a terrific, terrific person who has been working in planning so that esports can be part of the standard sports curriculum in the local middle schools and in the high schools in our city. This is also happening in the private schools. So if you have a child that is in middle school or high school in a private school, you may find that they also have an esports program. Why does this matter? It matters because if we think about esports like traditional sports, they are still learning values that they need in their entire life. So they're learning how to compete. They're learning how to use strategy. They're learning how to work within a team. They're learning how to deal with victory and with defeat. These games that many of the kids play, and probably your kids as well, they are complicated. They're hard to play sometimes. They're difficult. It takes a lot of a lot of activity in their brains to know what to do. And sometimes as parents, we think they're wasting time. It's not going to prove anything. But in fact, it's they are skill sets that maybe we just don't understand, but they can use in real life. That is the reason why in our city in Springfield, many of the schools, as I said, are introducing official esports programs. Now, as I'm recording this, this is November of 2022. It hasn't been announced yet. It hasn't been released yet, but I can tell you that practically speaking, it is going to be part of the DNA of all of our schools. So when you hear about this, I want you to know what that is. Here at our in our city, we have something called the Springfield Esports Coalition. It is part of the Springfield Sports Commission, which helps to bring in basketball tournaments and volleyball tournaments and all baseball to all kinds of things to our city to really highlight what our city is doing in traditional sports. Just this last month that we have introduced esports into that mix so that Springfield can be on the map, not just in the local area, but nationally as a centerpiece for what can happen in esports in a city. We are going to be hosting things like the Missouri High School Invitational, where high schools from around the state are going to be coming to our city to compete in esports. We're going to be doing showcases also once a year, where again, families are going to bring their kids in. Uh, they're going to play at multiple places around our city and culminate here at our location at Contender Esports, where they're going to be introduced to university coaches who are offering scholarships for their kids to play video games in the university. This is not something that maybe will happen. It's not something that somebody's dreamed of. There are universities around the country, many, many that are offering scholarships for kids just like yours to play video games to come to their university. Why would they do that? I'll talk about that in a separate video a little bit more in detail, but really the reason is because they know, again, the skill sets that they have acquired, how they uh, have to be exceptional in some of these things. And because of that, they can then help the kids utilize some of those skills in things like marketing or in technology or in computer coding or in mechanics or in goes on and on and on and on. So I hope you are excited about what's happening with the middle schools and the high schools in our city. If you don't understand it, you've heard these things before, maybe you've not heard about them before, I just wanted to give you some context so that you could see the value of what is going on in Springfield and how Contender Esports is a part of that. And also, so you as a parent can know that some of the things that you may have thought, well, that's a waste of time for my child. Actually, they are valuable and they can be helpful. So uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.